Hey folks, thanks for joining me for this episode from the Embellish Pod. If you got here by chance, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. Hopefully it can be found on any podcasting platform that exists. And if you can't find me on a platform, send me an email at embellishpod at gmail.com and I'll try to get that taken care of. You can also find video versions of this podcast on YouTube. You can find all of my links on Instagram at embellishpod or TikTok with the same handle. I have a website. It is www.embellishpod.com. It's also a place to pick up these links, episode details, and more. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different and a whole lot shorter, so I hope you enjoy it. Well, it's about time for a mid-year check-in, State of the Union podcast, whatever you want to call it. Um, Wanted to take a few minutes to talk about kind of the rest of this year, some things that have happened very recently, um, and we'll just kind of begin, you know, very, very recently, I've done a little bit of whiskey traveling. I was able to um, go to the This Is My Bourbon Weekend podcast um, meet up. And during that time, we, we ran over, me and a few friends ran over to um, Jim Beam Kitchen and did a tour of the distillery and then had a wonderful meal. We did some tiki drinks. We went to Pursuit Spirits and did the, the Bottle Your Own experience there, which I can't recommend enough. Um, you know, they give you the opportunity to taste where at least we got to taste six different things and then have the ability to thieve and pour our own bottle to, to then take home, which was a great, um, great thing for us to bring home for each other. Um, but also real, real fun experience. Um, after that, we did some touring in the Eastern portion of the state, uh, went out and saw Augusta distillery. And this is right before they announced their brand new master distiller. So, you know, some whiskey news that's not so much whiskey news anymore. Uh, and then we went out and toured old Pogue. Uh, and if you haven't had an opportunity to go visit those two distilleries, you absolutely should. Um, very picturesque portion of the state. Um, old Pogue sits on the side of the hill and a, you know, a beautiful old home that's been restored. Um, and they have some fantastic spirits out there and, you know, there's some really, really friendly people. Uh, talked about them way, way back in the first season, uh, the first year that I did this, I talked about old Pogue a little bit and we'll talk about it again later on. Um, and then, uh, one of, one of my friends, Bill, who is hanging with Bill, um, we did a little quick, you know, campy whiskey hunting video, uh, in Lexington. And I'll put the link to that, um, in the show notes to this. And then we attended the live recording of this is my bourbon podcast, uh, in Lexington and got an opportunity to, you know, hear from a handful of, of distilleries, I believe. Um, you know, we got to hear, well, I know we got to hear from RD one, um, um, pursuit spirits was there. Kenny got up on stage. This is the first time he's, you know, done a live podcast recording, um, you know, Barson Bourbon Company was there and uh, Dark Arts was there as well. So we had a handful of, of folks floating around. Um, I think Rare Character participated a little bit. A lot of really, really great brands were a part of that event. Um, you know, just, just a fun, quick little trip. Um, one of the other things that's happened more recently is I actually, uh, a couple weeks ago, recorded an episode with Cole from Chill Filtered. Uh, I've done one of about one of those per year uh, since I started doing this and um, helping fill in whenever they, they're going to have to take some time off for uh, parental leave uh, or whatever else is going on. But this is the first time he and I had a chance to talk. And um, at the end of this episode, I'm going to have sort of a... Um, behind the scenes version of that episode. He shared with me the raw footage. And if you want to watch that episode, uh, we talk about Michter's 10 year for the 2024, the Michter's 10 year bourbon for 2024. Um, and a handful of other things that go on. So if you want to go over there and watch that, if not, you're going to see all of the clips that are cut out that he didn't put in his episode. That's all I'm going to show here. So if you want to know the greater context of that episode, uh, you can go download it audio wise. Or you can hop over to their YouTube channel. I'll put the links in the um, details here as well and be able to kind of do that. Um, beyond that, some things that you can expect in the second half of the year. Um, if you follow me on any social media platform, you're starting to see some tasting notes come out. And I, I put a quick video out that kind of describes how I go through my tasting notes process. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a little bit complicated and a little bit of a heavy lift, but... I feel that these spirits deserve the time and the effort to go into these. We shouldn't be shooting from the hip on them. And especially if people are going to even remotely trust what we're saying, we should spend a little bit of time. So um, I'll, I'll leave you know the fresh pop concept open to a lot of other people. Go ahead and do it. There's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's the way they do it. Um, I don't know that I can get a fair representation of 
of the tasting notes of a whiskey on a single taste. Uh, and I, I don't know too many people who take this seriously that do. And honestly, we're not taking it that seriously. It's still just whiskey. So you can expect to see some more useless um, tasting notes on social media. And then um, I'm probably going to do an, an, any number of these could happen. Any number of these could happen. So, you know, if you're interested in any of them, leave comments somewhere so I can find that. And you tell me, you know, which one of these things seems the most interesting to you. But um, doing an informative episode on some of these before we start diving into brands specifically. But looking uh, at the realms of rum or tequila, rum and or tequila, um, Indian whiskey, German whiskey, Danish whiskey, Scottish, Scotch whiskey, um, English Light whiskey, um, which is one that kind of intrigues me in cocktail culture. I'm going to put those two together uh, specifically because at least if I think of, you know, rum, tequila, light whiskey, and cocktail culture, um, if you follow or if you look at the historical trend that happened post the last whiskey glut, um, clear spirits and cocktails kind of came into play. I don't know that we'll go through that same sort of a downward trend. It might be that folks move over to rum or tequila or aged rum or aged tequila. Um, light whiskeys kind of come into play, but a whole host of things I think it would be interesting to you know, kind of be on the front end of that conversation. And then I have two specific barrel types that I'd want to dive into, and one of them is a little bit dated at this point now, right? So Amberana. Um, I want to I want to talk about what that actually is. I've heard it called Brazilian oak. I've heard it called a handful of other things. So maybe diving into that, and then another one that I've seen in the marketplace recently, which is a balsamo barrel. Um, kind of talk about what that is. You know, what is what are these, and why are these in the marketplace currently? So uh, this is this is sort of a state of the union mid year check in slash behind the scenes episode. Like I said, directly following this clip will be. Um, the the excerpts from the chill filtered episode that I recorded with them. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you hop over and listen to what they've got going on. Um, what Cole has been doing for the past handful of years with a, with a couple of different co-hosts um, has been some really good stuff. And so I think it's worth your while to pay attention and watch, um, listen, see what they've got going on. Um, you know, um, as okay. always. Yeah. Uh, let me pour my entry buzz. Do you have an entry buzz? I do. Uh, cool. Which one do you want you me to drink? Have to say yet, but... I was sitting down doing that. some notes before we got started. Nice. Remember, I got you one of these, Johns. Yeah, it's right there. I didn't get it's it. Still you paid right for here. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's still sitting right there. It's like uh, oh, it's nice. down to the last third or so. Nice. Yeah, this one's just about there. I guess I've changed my mind by the you know third of one of these bottles. Mm -hmm. This was a twenty-one. Yeah. Now I'm All waiting. Right. See, this is this is the twenty twenty-four. Well, you can't Ooh. see it because it washed out. Um, one of the my friends twenty-four sample rye. Yep, the ten year oh, rye. Right. The twenty twenty-four. Have you heard good rye. things? Yeah, I, I haven't heard anything bad about either one of these. Yeah, from anyone, but there's not a ton mm. out there yet either. Like it's still hitting. I heard one guy say that he likes it more caramely and he mm -hmm. said he liked 23 over 24 and he said 24 was fruitier and I'm like fruitier is my game so like yeah, yeah. I, so the um, it's bourbon night has this well Sarah and, and she's mm -hmm. got a fantastic palate um, mm -hmm. so this may be one of the best whiskey she's ever had the wow I'm into that mm -hmm. big into yeah. that yeah okay sweet I will kick it off and then I got to write a note. All right. Uh, you Are you limited on time? I am not. Yeah, we're not like going to go two hours or anything, but. All right, I'll start it up. Ready? You know what I should have brought great. I just 21. realized I should have brought this out. You should have brought what? Ooh, what's that? The, this is from whenever I went and did a tasting at Michter. Oh, I'm glad you did, because I was going to ask you about, have you ever been to the distillery in Louisville? Oh, well, when we get there, we'll have that conversation. You can. That, that sounds great. Up. Feel free to go off on a tangent. It, it will be a tangent, and I may end up having to give some credit to a, another podcast. Ooh. Hope that doesn't bother you. Mm. Was that the time you got to try Celebration? Crazy. 
Yes. Okay. And none of us knew it was going to happen. Zero percent oh, of us. That's the best. He he didn't know either. He knew they were going to do something special. Yeah. But he didn't know what they were going to do. Yeah. And so they because they set out some extra um, like allocated type bottles out in the gift shop. They took us upstairs and gave us cocktails for free. We did the bottle your own for free. Uh-huh. Right. We did all well, of yeah, those yeah. things. Before. I see it all the time. Yeah. But but like they didn't charge us. Anything. They didn't charge for the bottle. Like, nothing. We had we paid zero dollars for this entire experience. That's great. Love it. And then we did the tasting. Right. And so we uh, went through all of these things. Then we did the tasting and they ran us through the the standard sour mash. The nice. Here it is. And then they pull that out. Wait, did they pull that out at the end or did they? The very put that end. On the table? This, this the, it was it was sitting up on a shelf and. Um, we didn't have these, like we had all of these except for the 20, where's the 20, get these in order before we start recording again. So wait, I hear there's like 20 and 30 year bourbon in there. Was it over oak? In the 19 mash bill, let me go look that up before, because you're going to ask that question and I need to know. Uh-huh. This was pre COVID. You said nineteen mash bill. It, no, this was a couple years after that, though. This wasn't. Oh, gotcha. This was yeah, because they don't friends. do celebration every year either. So, yeah, no, this was the nineteen that was still there. Um, age anywhere from ten to over thirty years. I think it's thirty-two is what I think they said. Crazy. So I think I've got this finally. But anyways, they had everything out to give us mm-hmm. the the standard offerings: the the Kentucky Straight, the regular yeah. rye, the American Unblended. Barrel proof. Um, and then the 10 years okay. of both rye and bourbon. Mm-hmm. And then they brought out the card for the 20 year and the sample of the 20 year. And then this man comes out with white gloves and the celebration bottle and these little discs. Holy cow. And, you know, everybody in the group is, was a whiskey nerd. So we all knew what was happening. Like we were like, mm-hmm. holy shit, this is crazy. Uh, I won't say that whenever we're recording because I'm not trying to <laughs> fine. It, we, e, ready to for everyone. Um, <laughs> Technically, we do have an E for everyone. So, but we none of us tried to give any tasting notes. None of us. We just sat around and like enjoyed the moment together. Yeah. Because what else are you going to do? Like, I mean, it's not, I, you, I'm you never going to drink this it. again in my yeah. life. <laughs> I mean, no, you I, I took a picture of the. Not, I, I took a picture of the bottle, but it's not. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the moment, and so we were there. Um, we've developed this group called the brain trust now and we plan uh-huh. little events. Like we went, uh, That's great. you know, in May we went in a uh-huh. little trip together. So now when we do a bottling together, we'll get what we call a yearbook bottle where nice. we're all doing some bottle your own experience. And then everybody mm-hmm. signs it before we leave. Right. That's so now great. I've got a pursuit spirits, you know, yearbook bottle, oh, that's but cool. it was, it was a bananas experience. Oh, I believe it. That's so cool. All right. All right we'll I'll talk stop, about yeah. that. You ready to go back in? Yep. Yeah. Ready? I keep going back to this to try to the neat one to mm-hmm. see if it's getting better over time. And now this is the other thing that I have to kind of keep in mind is that it's probably pushing 80 degrees in this room right now. So this yeah. is an 80 degree whiskey. So That's maybe crazy. it's better at 75. I don't know. And yet you look so good. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm <laughs> it's like the soft light. It's yeah. the soft light. It That's is great. It is you get me some light. soft light. Mm-hmm. I'll say these are red relatively and shiny. Cheap. These are these are cheapos. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to do something unique for the setup format madness to make it uh, a little different. Yeah, I think I'm going to put um, the barrel head I have right here. Eagle rare barrel head. Yeah. That'll fill in that space a little better. I'm thinking I may wear just like sunglasses the entire time like poker. Like, yeah, exactly. Like that guy and do the lizard lizard. one. Or, you know what I'm talking about or I could wear the Ninja Turtles mask. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But that would get. I mean, I remember last year people were wearing like you know sports. Yeah. There's a Spider-Man you know, one like... here, the black Spider-Man mask. I've got a oh, chicken yeah, mask over here. One. You know, I've got enough for three rounds. I can just get, just keep True. changing. Yeah, every round, and then you'll be remembered well. Yeah, right. I don't know. Well, I'll be remembered. I don't know about well. They might be. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a little weird. That's, that's a weird. Yeah, dude. It's like the guy like, you know, Johnny Chan in the World Series of Poker, but you don't know that guy with the lizard glasses. You don't remember his name. <laughs> right. Yeah. You just remember the guy with the lizard glasses. You're like, oh, that was yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you remember that guy with the lizard glasses? Yeah. The nightmare sauce. <laughs> All right. Whenever you're ready, I'll let you kick it off. Um, 
14, 59. Okay. All right. So I, I, before we began, uh, yeah, yeah. I gave Cole, I gave Cole two options here today. Mm-hmm. Um, said, do you want to talk about Colts or do you want to talk about Mount Rushmore? And uh, oddly enough, he preferred to talk about Colts, right? I'm that, into that's Colts. what he said. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, oh, hold on a second. You're good. May have to reset that. There it is. You're good. I lost it. I lost our. No, you're fine. I can even restart. Cool. Um, one fifteen. What do you hope, John? You know, I hope that everything has gone well with chickpea, and Me that too. at some point in time, through the course of recording this particular episode, that child was born, and they can go so. back and listen to the moment that two. Um, Unknown to it, white guys talked yep. about whiskey while it was being born. While chickpea was yep. being born, we rambled in borderline incoherently for uh, a couple hours. Yeah. I mean, how often can you look at, you know, what happened the moment you were born? And chickpea can look back and say, hey, this was happening yeah. the moment I was born. It usually and takes it, a really like, infamous It was glorious. Moment. Right. What it was usually that? takes a usually takes a really infamous moment. Like, you know, yeah. if you were born during D day, people are going to remember that. Yeah. You know, so, so it's not like that. Speaking of digressions and I'll get back to the hopes in a moment, but I kind of found out recently that I was conceived right around the point of the San Francisco, um, earthquake in 1989. <laughs> um, that right. was like the one that like interrupted the baseball game. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. Like the big one in 1989. And so I'm like, that might've been me. Maybe I happened during that, you know, so conception is different than birth, though. <laughs> right, right. Without a doubt. Knowing well, when most you're conceived of all sometimes listeners. is a little disturbing. <laughs> exactly. But most of all listeners, I hope that our love of whiskey lifted your spirits. spirits. <laughs> Sweet John. Um, so um you have the- Thanks for tuning in to this episode from the Embellish Pod. If you enjoyed this, please leave me a review on whatever platform that you're consuming this on and leave a comment if possible. Hit me up on social media on TikTok or Instagram using Embellish Pod. Give me a follow so you can keep up with what's going on here. I can be found at www.embellishpod.com with all of my links, accounts, contact details, and more. Thanks for stopping by today. <laughs> <laughs>